Starting in Oregon, where yet another wolf was killed illegally. The four-year-old male, known as OR25, was found in Klamath County in the south of the state. This marks the third permitless wolf hunt for the region this year. From wolves to insects, the EPA has given approval for a new biopesticide, weaponized mosquitoes. Kentucky-based biotech company Mosquito Mate will release male mosquitoes carrying Wolbachia bacteria. When they mate with non-infected females, the eggs will not hatch. The company hopes the so-called zap males will curb the spread of Zika. And a new study is shaking up what we know about the cordyceps fungus. The fungus turns its ant hosts into zombified incubators, but it doesn't need to infect the brain to do it. New research suggests the fungus rather controls its host by taking over muscle function. In primate news, it seems bonobos help strangers without being asked. A new series of tests backs up past studies that show the apes will give food to unfamiliar individuals. Female bonobos leave their families to seek out new partners, and scientists suspect that this food-related empathy relates to the benefits of bonding in the wild. Staying with our primate kin, 500 ancient primate toe and finger bones were discovered in China. The fossils come from 25 different ancient species, the largest haul of its kind ever found. And a perfectly preserved cave lion cub was discovered in the Asian Arctic. The cub is thought to be at least 20,000 years old and is estimated to have been about two months old when it died. Into the ocean with a sad update on the vaquita. Conservationists fear the smallest porpoise is losing its fight against extinction. It was hoped that a captive rearing program could help save the species, but the only captive individual died before it could be released. In more ocean news, a camera crew from the BBC managed to capture incredible footage of six gill sharks feasting on a whale carcass. Speaking of sharks, a bizarre frilled shark was caught by trawlers off the coast of Portugal. These strange animals are among the more primitive sharks, but they aren't as rare as you might think. Frilled sharks have been seen off more than 20 countries and are commonly encountered by deep sea researchers. Rounding off with an amazing predation, a safari guide in Zambia managed to film a leopard chowing down on a Nile crocodile. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below.